Hey everyone, in today's Photoshop video, I wanna show you how to reduce grain or noise on your image. Now, if you use a camera that's really good in low light situation, like the Sony camera here, you probably will be able to have a very little amount of noise on your image. But lots of times, lots of cameras don't have the ability to do that. So where noise comes from is typically based on your ISO setting. If it's really high, like if you shot something at 12,800 ISO, you're gonna get a lot of noise in that typically with depending on what kind of camera you're using. So I'm gonna show you how to reduce that. And sometimes if you scan in old images because they used film and some of the film ISO or at the time ASA used to be a little bit higher, that is also gonna introduce noise to your image. So I'll show you my favorite and fastest way to get rid of noise in Photoshop. And then at the end, I'll show you an AI-based software that does this for you too, but it's a paid option. Photoshop has this built in. So here is my image in Photoshop. And if I zoom in, you could see it has a lot of noise, right? Because it's in a dark area and there's not much lighting going on. She's just lit by this spark right here. And they probably had to shoot this at a high ISO to get a good, decent exposure at least, right? So how do you reduce this image? Let me go ahead and duplicate the layer first. So I'm just gonna press Command J. So with this new layer, let me apply this filter. Come up to the Filter tab of Photoshop and there's an option called Noise. And you could actually add noise too. Sometimes that is a creative decision, but reduce noise is what we want. And if you use this dialog box correctly, you'll get almost there and I'll show you another option after that. Check the preview on, leave it on basic and leave it on default here. And basically if your strength is, is at zero, nothing is happening, right? But if you boost this up all the way up, look at the difference between where we started and where we're going. Now this depends on your other settings, okay? So if your preserved detail is up, nothing's gonna happen. And because I have a lot of noise, I'm gonna actually bring this down to zero. Then reducing color noise, you could actually reduce this. In this case, I wanna be somewhere around 30. So these are the two sliders that make a big difference. Then sharpen detail actually brings in noise back if you boost this. So I typically don't bring this up. I usually leave it at zero. On very noisy images, these are my settings, right? I'm boosting this way up. And remove JPEG artifact. That's based on the different compressions on your JPEG if you want to check that on. It doesn't hurt. I'll press OK. So if I turn this layer on and off, you could kind of see in a very zoomed in detail the before and after of what that filter did for me. And if I just zoom all the way out, I'm going to actually get a much better image. And there's one more thing you could do here. There's another filter. If you go to filter and it's under blur and it's called surface blur. This is technically blurring your image somewhat, but you do either way lose some detail because it's blurring that is actually getting rid of the noise in the first place. And let me zoom in over here to an area to just get a better look. And if you boost your blur, it's basically making this a cartoon. That's not what you want. So really probably 10 is as high as I would go depending on your image. And then the threshold, you wanna be closer to zero on that too. So typically 10 is okay. See if you boost this up, you get this very blurry cartoony look again. So. 10 and 10, in fact, radius might be a little too high. I'll go to five. We just want a subtle surface blur here. And this really depends on your image, right? It's not gonna work for every image, but this one did a good job of blurring it. This image was out of focus anyway to begin with. Actually, nothing was in focus because of the low light situation and where the focus landed on this subject. And this is kind of a brand new product that's AI powered denoiser that you could try out and this one, look at this kind of before and after that is showing you. So if you don't like everything Photoshop has to offer, check this out. I'll put it in the link below. I haven't tried it myself for the denoiser, but I did try it for kind of fixing a resolution with another plugin they also offer, this lab right here. So they do have kinds of different products and I was a fan of one of their products. I'm not sure how this one works, but I've heard really good things about it. So if you're stuck in Photoshop and Photoshop is limited, go ahead and try this on. It might be a solution for you. As usual, link to all the resources, including my complete course on Photoshop is in the description of this video. Thanks again for all your time. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time.